Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie back another Star Trek the official Starships collection issue review from Hero Collector We have issue 161 The Void Ship from Star Trek Voyager designed by Rick Sternbach 24th century Delta Quadrant location and operated by night aliens So this is going to be an interesting one looking forward to what's inside and definitely looking forward to get my hands on this very interesting um, alien ship which looks to be the right way around uh, in comparison to the magazine. So that's good to begin with. Um, do check out the description box below for further model reviews from Hero Collector spanning Star Trek, Alien, Battlestar Galactica and uh, more in the description box below. Uh, you can check me out over on um, the social medias as well as Patreon if you want to support the channel too. And for transparency, this fantastic issue was gifted to me by Hero Collector with no strings attached. So like every other video of mine, my thoughts and opinions remain my own. And uh, listen, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So as always, we're gonna check out the model in a few moments. So here's a little sneaky peek up close. And uh, we're gonna have a look and see what goodies lay inside the magazine. So as I mentioned, we have 24th century Delta Quadrant Night Aliens. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I like actually the story arc. So we have our four sections, the void ship, designing the ship, Voyager into darkness and on screen appearances. So um, composition was organic. Um, it had capabilities of a cloaking device, dampening field weaponry and uh, beam weapons. So uh, very, very interesting. And again, because it's organic, you almost have this, uh, yeah, kind of fleshy, undertone to it for sure especially in this render here kind of looks like a, uh, if you took the lights off kind of looks like maybe an, an organ <laughs> or something like that um the aliens indigenous to the region of the delta quadrant named by the uss voyager crew as the void inhabited thousands of ships um data suggested that they were the only vessels native uh, to this lightless area so i remember seeing this for the first time on TV and you know the effect that it was having on the crew and the way that Voyager actually looked in the lightless region as well because normally the ships are very well illuminated um, so I'm sure there's going to be some fantastic uh, information in here and again oh the Malons like listen waste reclamation is an important job but uh, they were being very bold wasn't, weren't they great alien design makeup as well and uh, here we have the ship itself so Again, the crest, primary hull, running lights, very little that's been highlighted to us here. So the mystery remains with the, the night aliens. So here we have some nice renders. So again, this is pretty cool over here. So again, visual effects producer Dan Curry was responsible for designing, oh, designing the ship, Void ship alongside digital model maker Brandon McDougall. Um, I apologize if I said it was Rick Sternbach. I must... Uh, say that but again had the pleasure of meeting the guy and uh, again another prolific designer so um again brandon's highly detailed final digital model of the void ship uh can be seen here and again it was essential for bringing dan curry's design to life as well so you can kind of see a lot of the kind of uh crevices and cracks and kind of organic um cues to the ship here as well so we're going to get a lot of little insights in here and again, some traditional um, art concept work here as well. So I like this, like moves in this direction, much more kind of sinewy, as you can see some of the, the kind of inner structure, whereas the outer structure, the, the final one had more of the kind of plated look, as you can kind of see over here, as it looks a little bit more manufactured, whereas this looks a lot more um, organic uh, in areas as well. And again, you know, the kind of bioluminescence, I think is pretty awesome as well. So Into the Darkness, um, again, it's pretty interesting um, fifth season for Voyager as well. A lot of character development and um, again, showing some of the strains and stresses of uh, having lived five seasons in the Delta Quadrant too. So um, again, on-screen appearances we have in the episode Night on Voyager and uh, again, designed by Brandon uh, Dan Curry and Brandon McDougall as well. So let's check out the model, but before we do, sneak peek at next video back I always get tongue-tied when I do this thing <laughs> sneak peek at the next issue review coming up will be 162 we have the SS Lacool from Star Trek Generations so 
let's close out on a very interesting back graphic here and check out what uh, secrets and details lie within this model, shall we? Okay, so here we have our night aliens. Quite interesting, quite light. I think die cast here, but still very light. Um, interesting, one of the more interesting mounts. It's gonna probably clip in under here. And uh, come out you. Put this packaging delicately to one side. <laughs> uh, 5664A slash A void ship. Centrally mounted. And um, yeah, I think it's going to mount in that way. So I put that to one side and we'll have a look at the void ship, shall we? So as bright as they can be. Seems dead center there. It's not too bad. Speckled with a little bit of windows. The paint does a lot of the work really on this. Plastic component here. And they, they look like plastic as well. So they could be. They could be actually inserts here. And again with the the engine components there as well. I do like this piece though. I'm glad that wasn't painted. It's actually that kind of transparent. So the light is kind of penetrating through. Which is quite good. Just a very interesting design though really. When you think about it. Organic. Again, you know, this would be nice. Beside the um, Species 8472 again. Delta Quadrant Aliens, again organic. We also have uh, Tin Man, another organic ship as well. So be a nice little trifecta of ships. But again, a lot of the detail in here really is in the paint applications, as you can see. It does kind of glitter and glint. Um, it, does do, it does look like the head of an alien or like an, an organ and stuff like that as well in certain aspects too. It's actually quite nice. I like some of the negative space in here as well. You can actually see some in here also. Nice mold. I do dig it. So that looks to, I'm, I'm assuming, there we go. So it sits in, that's actually quite a nice stand. Um, She's a little bit flippy floppy. Um, but it does the trick. It's one of the higher standing ones. I don't know if that'll fit in my displays. I might need to put it in one of the lower ones. Um, so just be conscious of that. It does sit in there, but it's not too, too secure. But uh, how else could you kind of mount that? It's, it's quite an awkward one to mount, to be sure. <laughs> but anyway. Let's see what this is like on the stand and um, in comparison to another alien ship. I don't know which one I'm going to pick, but we'll see. I'll surprise you. So, folks, here we have the Night Aliens ship. Um, I was thinking about bringing out Species 8472 or Tin Man because they're organic ships. But I just thought to myself, when am I ever, ever going to take out the SS Poop again, the Malon Freighter? Because that was fundamental in that story arc as well. And uh, here we go. <laughs> it is on the stand. It does pop off quite often. But uh, here we have the freighter from the mail on side by side with the night aliens ship. Um, two very interesting designs. Two completely different species. Interesting story arc. And uh, yeah, two, two, two ships I'd never thought I'd have, let alone uh, be reviewing <laughs> for sure um, so that's going to be wrapping up the video um, I want you to head down to the comment section and sound off what do you think of the night flyer and uh, you're listening to all your thoughts and opinions on the uh, mail on freighter as well while you're there sure why not make yourself at home and on your way don't forget to check out that description box where you'll find all of the playlists for my previous reviews and uh, my social media links as well as my patreon support page if you want to support the channel and continue to develop there your support is greatly appreciated and again a massive thanks to hero collector for gifting the ship and a triple times massive thank you to everyone for making this possible just by simply checking out the videos and uh, being active on the irish trekkie train um it oh 
I, I can't word good to say how much I appreciate it. Um, but as always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, don't forget to hit that like button, share with someone that might find it interesting and uh, hit the subscribe and notification bell as well. And uh, as always, I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. So take it easy. Bye-bye.